place Venus past the orbit of Mars and see how long it takes to cool off? Would it ever be able to support life millions of years from now? Ooh, an interesting question. So, right now, Mars sits at roughly 1.5 AU from the Sun. The year in our simulation is currently 2063. So we're going to go ahead and place in some Venuses and see roughly how long it'll take for them to cool down. What we'll do is we'll place Venuses in a... We'll place them in three different locations, I think. So we'll place one just after the orbit of Mars, which is about 1.7 AU from the Sun. We'll place another one at the end of the asteroid belt, which is 2.7. Then we'll place a third one at about 3.7 AU. And see if any of these can cool down to a good temperature. See which one's sort of the best location. So let's go with the Venus closest to the Sun first. So this is the one just after the orbit of Mars. And let's speed up the time. So currently the simulation year is 2065. So let's go ahead and speed this up and watch... How long it will take for this thing to cool down. So, okay, we're past 2100 now. Venus is still in the 200 degree mark. Okay, let's speed up a little faster. So go to maximum simulation speed. So now it's cooled down to about 163. We're past the year 3000 now. So it's taken a good sort of 500 to 1000 years. So it's a roughly cool down. It looks like it's not going to go any lower. So the Venus past the orbit of Mars. This one, still too hot. 162. Remember, this is in Universe Sandbox. The atmosphere stats, they don't change at all once the object's placed it's got the same characteristics as the normal venus they won't change over a long period of time that's just the way it's kind of sitting at so that's still at 162 moving on to our venus's further away let's go to the one at the end of the asteroid belt here this one is at 64.5 degrees celsius um sitting out at 2.7 au from the sun so again still uh, cooler but still warm but if we go to the third venus closer to jupiter on the way there this one's now sitting at 15.9 degrees celsius um, with a distance of about 3.7 AU from the sun. So technically the temperature's there. It's just the composition of the planet isn't so great. So what we'll do is we'll add some water to it. And see if underneath these clouds. If we can get this to have sort of decent enough lifelike conditions. So let's go ahead and add some water. Okay so the water is added. The planet's temperature has actually increased to 45.4 degrees now. With the addition of the water in Universe Sam. It's quite a bizarre scenario. But... For the most part, technically, this Venus is now in a much better, more hassable position than it originally was. 